Is this a good move or a bad move for Carolina? <laughs> it's a lose-lose for everybody. Hey, look, first of all, Carolina Ooh. did not get better. Mm. There's a reason why they only gave up a fifth-round pick that can be a conditional fourth-round pick. Mm. If he get with a certain amount of play time, it can move up to a fourth. Now, they gave up a two, a four, and a six for Sam Darnold. It shows you what they thought of Sam Darnold in comparison to what they think. It shows you what fools they were. Oh, that ain't fools. Fools. They even bigger fools for signing Baker Mayfield. Mm. Thank you. Mm. See, you was your fool. You were always a D mm. fool. That's so a they were fact. a bigger fool. They were a fool to sign yep. Sam. Bigger fool to sign Baker Mayfield mm. coming off an injury. Mm. With all that talent. Skip, think about all the talent that he had in Cleveland. Mm. All of it. A top three offensive line. For the last three years, as a matter of fact, your favorite website, Pro Football Focus, says they have the second best offensive line this season. They said the Carolina Panthers will have the 31st offensive line, 31st best offensive line this season. Skip, when you look at the talent that he's had and you look at the performance that he's given you, I'm not saying Sam Darnold is a world beater, but at no you point. You better not. At, 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 you did once upon a time. At no point in time will anybody say Sam Darnold has had the same talent level surrounding him mm. as Baker Mayfield. Mm. They both came in the league the same season, 2018. One was the first pick, Baker. The other was the third pick, Sam Darnold. These two guys have the first and second most interceptions since they joined the NFL. Mm. And they happen to be on the same team battling for the starting quarterback position. So in a situation like this, I don't see anybody as a winner. I see only survivors. Mm. <laughs> Cleveland Browns. Survivors? Seriously? Baker Mayfield is a winner? Huh? How Baker well, Mayfield? Well, how, how's Carolina going to survive? Because they took, look, Skip, they don't, I don't believe they view him as a substantial. They look, they're looking at Sam Donald's history. He hasn't played well, but he's also been dinged. He got dinged last year. He was playing really well when C. Mack was on the when C. Mack was on the field. He got dinged. Now you put more on uh, Sam Donald's plate. He wasn't able to handle that. Baker Mayfield is coming off an injury. Hell, he only went to one playoff game with uh, one playoff. Well, uh, led him to the playoff once with all that talent. Mm. So am I supposed to expect Baker Mayfield to work miracles with less talent when he couldn't do more with more talent? Absolutely not. And mm. I know it hurts, Skip. And I told you, since the come, yeah, since the common draft, he joined two guys. And I told you, you didn't want to be on that list. He's one of three guys to go number one overall at the quarterback and not, and not reach five years. Jamarcus Russell, Jeff George. Mm. Wait, did Deshaun Watson come available for those guys? I don't care who came available. Oh, really? Jesus could have came available. Did a top three quarterback and, come available for their teams? Whoa, I think not. Whoa, 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 because it's never happened before. A, a 25-year-old top three quarterback? Nobody is looking to... I don't care who comes available. If your guy is like that, they're not looking to replace him. Why won't you accept the fact Baker Mayfield isn't that dude? If he was, he would still be a clean He got replaced by a top three quarterback. Why did he get replaced? Do you like Deshaun Watson? Why did he get replaced because he's a top three quarterback at age 25 who suddenly hit the market for all the wrong reasons so, I might add so think about the teams that were looking at Deshaun Watson there were three mm. teams that we know yeah. for certain the Atlanta Falcons yeah. they don't have a quarterback the New Orleans Saints who Jameis Winston's coming off an ACL injury and the, and who else Kim? and the Cleveland Browns now, we can understand the other Tell two Tell me when it's my turn. It's not your I'm turn. I'm getting yet. bored. Yeah, I, that's all, you're getting no. bored. It doesn't change the fact. You can get bored all you mm. want to. The guy that you put your reputation on got moved oh. for a fifth-round pick. Reputation? You put your name Tell me it. when it's my Take turn, please. Time. But it's still Baker Mayfield, the number one overall pick, and he joined Jamarcus Russell and Jeff George as only three in the common draft to be number one quarterbacks mm. overall and not make it five years? Mm. How can you not make it five measly, peasly years if you're that dude? Mm. He ain't it. Okay, you just pushed me right over the edge. I did. You have officially ticked me off. Good. So... Uh, I'm not going to fight fair anymore. <laughs> I'm going to fight fire with fire. <laughs>
The Hall of Famer sitting across me knows so much about evaluating quarterbacks that mm -hmm. once upon a time he said that Sam Darnold should go first in that draft. Sam Darnold is a flat out bust. I said it before the draft cannot play in this league. Doesn't have the poise, does not have the command, does not have the consistent accuracy. I told the Hall of Famer this. No, Sam Darnold's the best. Everybody loves Sam Darnold. He's a great kid. He's a great young man. Yeah. Way to go, Shannon. You picked Sam Darnold yes. in that draft, and right? Both in Carolina. Okay. Okay, and here we go again. You said, two is that dude, man? Two is that dude? I said, no, he's not. I told you. I told you, two can't play. He's too little and he's too fragile, and he has not nearly enough arm to survive at this level. And I was right, and you were dead wrong, but at least you've admitted you were wrong about that one. I told you, walk it to him wins. He, he's not a natural born leader. He does not have consistent command or accuracy. He had a little burst there for a while, and then the backup quarterback took him to win the Super Bowl was the MVP. I told you you're wrong, and I think you've kind of admitted you're wrong about Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, Skip, listen, he's not the leader. Okay, okay. thank we you. know that. But to pretend like 27 and 7, Baker Mayfield didn't throw for 27 okay, and 7. I'm just, uh, you, you, you pushed, and, and now you're going to get it back in your face. You told me the first day the show aired, six years ago, almost six years ago, you told me it's time for Tom Brady to go home and hang him up. Hang him up. Hang him up. No, I'm just trying to frame what you've been through. And you say, the guy you hung your reputation on. What reputation? And then Aaron Rodgers, I tried to tell you from the start. I told you back on first take. Aaron Rodgers is not that dude in the postseason. He did get him on the road as a wild card team to one long ago Super Bowl that's going on 12 years ago now. And I told you, he's a choke artist in the postseason. And I think you finally come around to that position. But, yeah, but the, okay. Transcendent has, thrower of the he football. He is, but he has four MVPs. Okay, the regular, the postseason success right. hasn't matched the, uh, a regular season success, but that doesn't mean he's not great. Baker Mayfield, what? You but you keep talking about right. Sam Darnold as a bust. How did they both end up on the same team if one is better than the other and that's not the team they drafted them? Who's better right now? Who would you rather have starting for your team in a vacuum, Baker Mayfield or Sam Darnold? Help me out. Skip. Which would you rather get run over by, a, a dump truck okay, or a truck? Which would you rather have? You didn't answer the question. Baker I don't, Mayfield I don't or Sam want either. Oh, if I give me a choice. Well, right now you have to make well, a choice. Well, if Sam Darnold looks like he's going to be the starter. Okay. Ain't nobody handed okay. Baker Mayfield the, dri the, right. uh, uh, the, uh, the driver's okay, seat. Okay, now it's my turn for my opinion on what just happened to Baker Mayfield. I'm here to inform you, Mr. Sharp, that you are a very lucky man today. <laughs> because you got a huge Baker break. How? But it will only be a stay of execution for your Baker hate because he's going to come back to haunt you. It might be later than sooner, but I first guessed this. I've been telling you for three weeks or a month or whatever it's been on this show because we talk about Baker Mayfield every day, yeah. seven times a day. I have told you there's only one place I don't want to see him go, and that's the place that he wound up in. On the team that wanted him? The okay. only team oh, that well, won. That's it. not true. But here's the point. I tweeted this immediately upon hearing the news yesterday afternoon. I tweeted, shrewd move by the Browns, trading Baker to the worst situation possible, one even more dysfunctional than Cleveland's, sabotaging his ability to come back to haunt them and to haunt you, Shannon Sharp. And my tweet continued, Carolina is the NFL's biggest mess. Baker will need to move again before he rises and shines again, and he will, all caps, and he will. He is the biggest bargain on the market, but it's going to take a year for him to hit true free agency where he can just pick and choose, and I'm hoping he gets enough of an opportunity for, guess what, the, 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 the latest ESPN uh, power ranking that I can find yeah. on the internet right now, the latest one. Guess who's dead last, 32nd and last? It's the Carolina when Panthers. When they got Baker Mayfield ranked as a quarterback. Carolina Panthers. Next and then last. here we go. I brought this up, maybe it's been two, three weeks ago on the show, but uh, Mike Sando, the athletic, for whom I have high regard, was doing an uh, athletic football show podcast with Randy Mueller, who is the former general manager, you might remember, the New Orleans Saints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mike Sando said... Carolina is not a good fit for Baker. And uh, by the way, Mike's plugged in with his agents. Uh, he went on to say on the podcast, Carolina is a hornet's nest. 
They've got an owner that is ready to press the button any day now on reset. And if I'm Baker, that could be ugly and messy. I don't think that makes any sense for Baker Mayfield. And Randy Mueller, the former GM of the Saints, chimed right in and agreed it's a terrible place for Baker Mayfield. The right place for him. Okay. So you, like you, you got a huge break, Shannon. Yeah, I'm look, telling you, you got a huge break because they just stole Baker Mayfield. They stole him. He's he's the greatest bargain ever on the free agent market, but the, he didn't make it to the free agent market. No, no. He got stolen for a conditional fifth that could move to a fourth. First of all, the Supreme Court has said, has weighed in, anything set to the side is community property, is trash. So you can't say hey, we they stole it when Cleveland Browns set it out to the curb. Mm. It's not stolen. Mm. So stop saying that they stole Baker Mayfield because they did not steal him. They didn't want Baker Mayfield, Skip. And it's okay, it happens. Other guys have had to move. But what, what keeps, what's mind-boggling to me is that you think this guy is Brady. You think this guy I is an elite top, okay. You think he's a top 10. He's not borderline top 10. He's not top 15, except the fact he's a guy. You keep telling me, and I know it's coming probably. Oh, he went 11 and 5. But what you don't tell the people is that Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt ran for 2,400 yards that year, and which was the third most in football. And his offensive line in that last 11 games, nine of the game, they gave up seven sacks. They gave up eight sacks in the last two games. They went one and one. And in those two playoff games, they gave up one sack. You make it seem as all Baker, 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 Baker. But that offensive line was outstanding. Those running backs were outstanding. He had very talented receivers. Baker the guy. And you're about to find out when he doesn't have the talent that's surrounding him, he's even worse of a guy. Mm. Okay, before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> I was about to get into what Baker May Mayfield did accomplish in Cleveland, What he accomplished? Ohio. As a raw rookie coming out of the University of Oklahoma, all he did once he got a chance to start after Hugh Jackson somehow relegated him to the backup role for a couple of games, he won seven games as a rookie for a team that had gone 0-16 the year before, and if we go back one more year, they were 1-31 and for the previous two years. He won seven freaking football games for that team. He set the NFL rookie record for touchdown passes that year with 27 and didn't even get to start all the games. It's didn't start the first two. The rookie record. 27 was the record when he set it. Past tense, okay. He had 40 big-time throws, according to Pro Football Focus. That ranked third in the National Football League that year. Those are tight-window, big-time throws, which converted Shannon Sharp into trying to co-opt, if not steal, my bandwagon that I had built on this side of the table yeah. going into Baker's sophomore yeah. year in the NFL. Shannon Sharp is driving my bandwagon saying, shake and bake, baby, yeah. shake yeah, and I bake. I drank the Kool-Aid. Okay, you yeah. drank the Kool-Aid, and I guess you Stomach would say hurt. you were right, and then you were wrong. Stomach I don't know. Yeah, I feel better now. All right. So then they added Odell, and it was oh, a disaster Odell. for both parties because Baker admires to the, the point of idolizing Odell. They were friends off the field. They vacationed together. He started forcing him to football, and Odell mostly got hurt because he had three different surgeries, and now even of late, Odell is saying that he played that whole year last year with a torn ACL. He says he didn't even have an AC, yeah, ACL. That's what he said. That's before he re-injured it, according to him, right. in the Super Bowl. Right. So I'm having to go back to to last year, the first part of last year when he was a disaster for the Cleveland Browns. I guess he's running around without an ACL. So I, I'm going to give him an injury pass there. But what, I think you have to put a big asterisk on what, Baker's season. Was Baker a disaster okay. in the first half of the season? Okay. So let's let's go back then to the the first half of that season as he's forcing the ball to Odell. They're no good. But what happened when Odell finally went down and out? I don't want to wish an injury on anybody. I'm going to knock on wood for him because he's been hurt a whole lot. He is starting to be damaged goods. But at Cincinnati, he tore an ACL. And Baker Mayfield, maybe not coincidentally, took off. And they go eight and three down the stretch. And he throws 20 touchdown passes to only three interceptions. And over those 11 games, Pro Football Focus grades him the fourth best quarterback in all of football behind Aaron Rodgers, one, Brady, two, and Deshaun Watson, number three. And all he does, does is go to Pittsburgh, their arch rival within the division, as a road playoff team, 
and win Cleveland's first playoff game in 26 years. Think about that. In 26 years, he did that with a QBR not of 19, but of 91, if we can go dyslexia, 91 on a scale of 0 to 100. It's impossibly great what he pulled off. And then he starts off the next year, which was last year. In the first two games, he led the NFL by far in completion percentage at 82%. But near the end of game number two, at home against the Houston Texans, he fractures his shoulder and tears his labrum. And then having to wear a harness the rest of the year, his completion percentage drops to 56% because he could not whip into his throws the way he did mm. before. So all, all of a sudden, I'm looking at a big body of work here that you completely undercut and discount. You have gone so far as to say Baker Mayfield is a bust on this show. Connection. And I, I'm asking you a question. Does that sound like bus numbers to you? Because it sounds like starting quarterback numbers to me. Sounds like a quarterback who can win a lot of games, including a lot of playoff games. I, that, 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 doesn't sound like a, that doesn't sound like a quarterback that can win a lot of playoff games. Mm. Skip, the fact of the matter is if that you're measuring him by the first overall pick in the draft. By that estimation, yes, he's a bust because those guys don't normally change teams within the first four years of the deal. So I, you can dress it up however you want to, but I tell you what, I'm going to push back at you. Baker Mayfield will never be the quarterback that Odell was as a receiver. Mm. Let's get that out the way right now. You know that, I know that. Baker Mayfield will never be as dominant at the quarterback position mm. as Odell was as a receiver. Now, Odell okay, might not... Quarterback is the position, and wide receiver guy. is not the position. Oh, he... Wide receiver can be played by lots of guys, and you can get away with lots of guys at wide... You can't get away with guys at quarterback. But that's what he is. A lot of guys can play the quarterback position, but they can't play it well. He plays the quarterback position. He doesn't play it well. Oh, wait, he doesn't play it well, says the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp. 20 touchdowns to three interceptions. Could we please see those 20 <laughs> touchdowns again just to remind the Hall of Famer what well looks like? Because this looks like well to me. Well, oh, okay, that looked like an accurate dart to me. That, that looked like some velocity on that ball. That looked like some mustard. That was a sweet throw. Huh, interesting. I'll take that to Kareem Hunt. Yeah, we wide open. Take it. Whew, to people's gym. Oof. What a throw that was. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that, that's a tight window throw. That ain't no tight oh, window yeah, throw. Was, that's a was. tight window throw, too. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Okay. That's a yeah, tight I, window I, throw, too. I'm seeing mustard. I'm seeing velocity. Yeah. Sweet touch to the tackle. Little tackle eligible. How about that? That'll work. He's wide open. I see a guy calling right out on the fourth. Yeah. Number hot dog. Huh. <laughs> Number easy throws. Easy throws. Huh. Look at this little rainbow. That, that'll work, right? On the move. He throws it great on the move. He can flat out move outside the pocket. That's not huh. that's that's not what that's not huh. what his offensive coordinator said yeah. about him coming out of college. Yeah, that is, true. is that what his quarterback is that what yeah, the guy right. said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're still seeing 20, 20, 20 touchdown passes in, in the last 11 games. Man, when are they going to show Kareem up and Nick, Nick Chubb running for 2,400 yards? This, this is the guy who's a bust. This is a first overall pick who's a bust. Thank you, Jarvis, for that one. Yeah. Run after catch. And here we go again. Okay, he's open. Yeah, I, I got it. It's a little screen pass to Chubb. I'll, I'll take that. It wow. looks like a guy who's been operate. It looks like a guy who's in complete command. So ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to show any throws. Dart. Ain't nobody going to show any Dart. runs Dart. in which Kareem Hunt and, and Nick Chubb ran for 2,400 yards. Nobody and 20 and, touchdowns. And, and I, I appreciate you bringing up the goofball Ben McAdoo. Ah, not he'll the goofball. goofball. Remember not what, he'll what goofball. you used to say? He, he's got his, wh wh who's what, the, the Cheesecake Factory <laughs> yes. menu? And he's, yes. oh, I'm talking into my Cheesecake Factory menu. Yes. I don't want anybody to hear this stupid play I'm calling. Right? Yeah. That, that's what he was in New York. That, that's the Stop hate. Hating. He, he is now the offensive coordinator yeah. for Baker Mayfield. And the year that he was out of football, he tried to be a draft guru. And he said, Baker is too small. He's not athletic enough. His hands are a too small. Little tiny hands. Little tiny hands. hands. Mm -hmm. And he does not run a pro style attack at the University of Oklahoma. I don't like him, but he loves Sam Darnold. Looks like he was about as wrong as the Hall of Famer was about Sam and Darnold. And guess where, Skip? He coaching both of them. Mm. So it looks like he was right. 
Guess what? You keep telling me Baker Mayfield. How did he get a job? I, okay, I, I don't know. If that, that's, I'm not yeah. in the NFL, I, so I don't, don't, don't operate in those circles. But I'm trying to tell. I'm just trying to figure out. I need someone like yourself to explain to me mm -hmm. if Baker Mayfield is so much better than mm -hmm. Sam Darnold. How are both of them not on their original team and end up on the same team? Mm, I, I don't know. That's just bizarre fate. <laughs> the point <laughs> is, this is a bigger clown show than the Browns clown show. Th this is. Ben McAdoo calling plays for a guy he doesn't love. This is Baker Mayfield getting sent from the frying pan right into the fire nah. in Carolina. No That's what show. it is. Ain't no cloud show. They yeah. got Baker Mayfield saying, hurry, hurry, yeah. step right up. Yeah. He's perfect yeah. in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, at some point in time, he's not the guy. You know, it's okay I, if you I, accept I, it. I, I try to like Christian McCaffrey, but he just can't stay healthy at his yeah, size. Don't worry about my nephew. He's, my he's, nephew going to be just fine. He's played 10 games in two years. If he could play 17, maybe Baker would have a chance. But he doesn't have a chance for a team that invested all of its pride in San Sam Darnold, because to your point, they gave a two and a four and a six, and they guaranteed Sam freaking Darnold the bust. They they guaranteed him almost 19 million for this coming season. Yeah. What do you think they're doing? They just went to acquire Baker on the cheap for PR purposes. They want to show their fandom because they are cratering. Well, we're trying to do something. We went and got Baker Mayfield. But you know and I know they want to make Sam Darnold a success because that's the only way they can look like they knew what they were can doing with question? Sam Darnold. Can I ask your question? They, they will probably go with Sam Darnold, I, especially in week one, just, even though Cleveland is visiting. I just need you to answer me this. If Sam Darnold is a bust and he's on his second team within five years, how can Baker Mayfield not be considered a bust if he's the number one overall draft pick in the very Dude, same just situation? compare their numbers. Compare their achievements so far. Did Sam Darnold win a playoff game? I compare where they are. Huh. They're both on different teams huh. inside of five years. Huh. Sam Darnold last year had a QBR of 33. It, was at, it ranked at the bottom of the league. He didn't play enough games. Baker Mayfield was at the bottom, too. Uh -huh. Baker, well, Baker Mayfield, Mayfield was flat out hurt because of the damn. I know, he flat out hurt. Oh, well, did, did you? Did, did you, Sam Darnold not get hurt? Are you questioning? Did Sam Darnold not get hurt? He, he got hurt after a while, but he went okay. four and seven uh, when he was, oh, he yo, was completely out. So healthy. what was Baker's record? Four and seven. What was Baker's record? Well, Baker, you told me shouldn't have played. Uh, nah, he shouldn't have played. Well, you told me that. So Sam Darnold plays hurt. That's okay. He's not any good. Well, he didn't Baker play May hurt. He got hurt and he was gone. Baker Mayfield plays hurt. Oh, that's Cleveland. That's a clown show. Nah, nah, mm. your guy can't play. Clown except, show. except that fact. Mm. You got a huge break. But I hope he gets to, to audition just a little bit next year for the worst team in football. And then he hits the free agent market, and somebody will say, thank you, God, and for Baker Mayfield. Say, I he, promise you. He, he's not exactly an old man. He just turned 27. He's got a lot of football I, left. He's got a lot of years to come back and haunt both the Cleveland Browns and the Hall of Famer across from him. I, I, don't, I don't care what you say. Ain't nobody finna sit back and hope the heavens open up and say, thank I've been in a situation where I say, thank you, God. Mm. Hey, there ain't nobody saying that about Baker Mayfield. Mm. They're not going to say that about him. Mm. Admit it. Your guys are bust. <laughs> Thank and you I'm for not talking, that. And I'm you not said it. You and said I'm it. not talking about Thank the one you. in Canton. Shannon Sharp said bust. Baker Mayfield is a bust. I mean, hey, I mean, he could have went down to Canton and saw mm. a couple of them, mm. but not that, 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 mm. he not it. Mm. <laughs> Except it. All right, Except guys, the things I you cannot change. I accept the fact that he's going to win a whole <laughs> lot of football games over the league. The I'm on record, and I'm not backing off. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on